Hello and welcome to the Stop Frost Maths key skill video on finding the probability of successive events by grouping outcomes, for example, into odd and even. So let's look at this question here. There are six cards in a bag. One, two, two, three, five, five. Doris picks three cards from the bag without replacing them after each pick. Work out the probability that the sum of the numbers is even. Now what we might do is just think of three of these numbers that add to give uh, an even number. So it could be, for example, that we have um, 3, 5 and 2. So we could have 3, 5, 2, that adds to give an even number, or we could have 2, 3, 5. Um, and then for each of these, we'd find the probability of that particular sequence of cards and then add together all those probabilities. The trouble is, there's going to be so many different possibilities, it's just going to take a very long time. So that's not a good way to do it. Instead, we might think about whether each of the card we pick is odd or even. So we're kind of grouping the cards into two groups, even cards and odd cards, and that's going to make it much simpler to work out this problem because even and odd, that's only two possibilities rather than how many different numbers there are. So let's think, if the sum of the numbers is even, how could three numbers add to give an even number? Well, it could be even, 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 because if you have three even cards, even plus even plus even would be even. And we can work out what the probability of the first card being even fairly easily. What other possibilities are there? Uh, well, we could have also had odd, odd, even, because odd plus odd is even, plus even is still even. And then there's also the different orderings of that, because the order in which we pick the cards does matter. So we could also have had odd, even, odd. And finally, we could have also have even, odd, odd. And that's all the ways in which we could have got a sum of an even number. It's these four different ways. Now we have to find the probability of each of these and then add them together in the usual way. Now, actually, one of these is not possible. To get even, 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 if we pick an even number, it's only one of these two cards, the two. So if we pick the two, we've got the two in our hand, and then we pick another even number, so we take the other two. But at that point, there's no even cards left. So there's no possibility of this one, so it has a probability of zero. What about the next one? Odd, then odd, then even. Well, the probability of the first card being odd is one, two, three, four. There's four odd cards out of the six, so it's four out of six. And then what's the probability that the next card is odd? Well, we've already taken out one odd card, so we've now only got three odd ones left. Say, for example, we picked the one, we've only got the three, the five, and the five left, so it's three odd cards left out of only five cards left. Remember, if we're choosing something and then not putting it back, there's one less card to pick from, so the denominator goes down by one. Then finally, what's probably the last card is even? Well, we've just picked two odd cards, so like, say, the five and the five, so we've still got those two even cards left, so the probability the last one is even is two out of, but again, the denominator goes down by one because we've got one less thing to pick from if we're not putting it back, and then remember, we just times those together. And that, I believe, just gives a probability of a fifth if you times those together and simplify. Now, odd, even, odd. Remember what I said before. If you've got the same things as before, so you've got two odds and an even, two odds and an even, but then a different order, and you're sampling without replacement, you will end up with the same probability. So this will be a fifth again. Let's just double check that. The probability of the first one is odd is going to be four out of six again. The probability that the second card is even, well, there's two even ones still there, but it's out of five. And then the probability the last one's odd, well, we picked one odd, so let's say it was that one. We've still got three odd left, so it's three left out of uh, four cards left. And we can see what the same numerators, but in a different order, the same denominators, so we're going to get the same fraction there. And again, the last one, we've got two odds and an even, so that's going to be a probability of a fifth again. And then we add those up. So if we add these three probabilities up, we get a final probability of three-fifths, and that is the final answer.